Well, it was 35 years ago, Mount St. Helens erupted, but now a new report says there's magma movement in the mountain. In their study, scientists say they found something very unusual, and it connects Mount St. Helens to its neighbor, Mount Adams. We sent our Lisa Balick to talk with scientists on this project to learn more. Lisa? Jennifer, they're trying to figure out what's going on below ground, and they found new information about magma. You know, that's that red-hot molten rock that's just a few miles below the surface. Dozens of Earth scientists from around the country have worked to perform sort of a giant ultrasound and CAT scan on Mount St. Helens, trying to get a better sense of what's going on down below to help better predict the next eruption. Turns out what shoots up may not be coming from directly underneath the volcano. What surprised you in what they found so far? Um, I think that the, the most interesting thing so far is uh, that the, the best evidence for magma is in an area that's not directly beneath Mount St. Helens. It's off to the side. Researchers placed thousands of sensors above and below the mountain and set off 23 explosive charges to measure energy waves, how long they took to reach the sensors. It's slower going through magma than rock. They discovered a huge magma chamber below the surface and an even larger one below that. But it was knocked directly below the volcano. There's evidence for magma at greater depths than we've imaged before, and that magma is um, offset from where Mount St. Helens is, is offset from Mount Adams, and uh, that presents an interesting uh, twist to the story of how does magma get up to Mount St. Helens. The deepest magma chamber may be supplying magma to more than just St. Helens. Mount Adams is only about 34 miles to the east, I wanted to know if it's more likely to erupt based on what scientists found. And also we know from the geologic record that a lot of magma intrudes into the earth without erupting. And anytime you go out and see granite, that's magma that failed to reach the surface. It cooled underground. So just the fact that we're seeing evidence of magma down deep and in between Mount Adams and Mount St. Helens doesn't mean that Mount Adams or Mount St. Helens is more likely to erupt. It means that what we're seeing is we're imaging the roots of these systems. Now I ask, how does this help them predict the eruptions? And they tell me it's a piece of the puzzle. Scientists think perhaps those earthquakes, we often see the swarm of earthquakes before there's an eruption, it could possibly be caused by that magma moving from the newly found lower chamber to the upper chamber. These again are pieces of the puzzle they're trying to use to figure out and the timing of those eruptions. Live in Vancouver, Lisa Balick, COIN6 News. That is interesting. And Lisa, we put a link to that study on COIN.com. Thank you. Great.